Hey guys, how are you? Welcome back to my channel. It's me, Stephen, and Donald, the good Donald. Um, he's got some muscles. It's one of my gym shirts I enjoy wearing. Um, I have some muscles. I'm not sure if you can see them in the in the video. Um, they're handy to help old ladies put their luggage in the overhead bin. Um, let's see. So the title of this video, as you probably noticed, is something along the lines of what do I put in my crew tote bag. I have to apologize. I have to sneeze. I just can't do it. Um, let's see. What is in my crew tote bag? So this is a tote bag I use for the most part. It's a pretty common bag for me. Uh, it's a messenger style computer bag. It's got one big pocket in the front, another large pocket here, um, assorted segments as you'd probably imagine you'd find in a computer tote bag. It does have a pass through in the back so I can slip this over the uh, handle of my luggage. I do carry uh, two bags, two other bags, depending on the type of trip I'm going on. For this three day, I'm gonna be taking pretty much everything I need, including a couple, well not pretty much, I'm taking everything I need, plus a, a couple other things that aren't necessary but I like to have on me. Um, the other bag I carry when I'm not taking as much is this little messenger bag. It's a Steve Madden um, messenger bag. I'm not a huge Steve Madden fan, um, but it doesn't say Steve Madden anywhere, so I like it. I also carry this bag, which is uh, I bought for training, actually. I bought this uh, uh, for training, and I really were, I just didn't want to spend the money. I think at TJ Maxx it was... $56 and you know that was a lot of money at the time but I knew I would need something it's got really a crazy amount of room uh, so I use this bag when I'm taking everything in the kitchen sink or I'll use it it usually zips really nicely I use it for um, turns or if I'm gonna stay overnight just one night and I'll just take some skincare, um, a bathing suit, and some extra uniform pieces. But, so I'm using this bag today. I'm gonna try and put all this stuff in. I typically don't take my laptop. So this is gonna be, if this fits with this, I'll be overjoyed. If not, I'll just take this out because I, you know, if I take it, I probably will never even use it. So let's start with flight attendant manual. We are still in, uh, we're in what's called a dual carry phase where we have to carry our full size paper manual, which is pretty hefty and awkward and kind of bulky. Unfortunately, we have to still carry it by law. Um, I'm gonna stick this right back here. Uh, we also, are, because this is called dual, dual carry, it means we also carry our work device. Um, I did film this video or I started to film this video um, a few minutes ago and then I realized I showed my employee number which I have um, on my device with little stickers uh, and my base so that in, in the event that I leave this on an aircraft somewhere which people do people can see my employee number and my base and uh, give me a shout out either on Facebook or leave it in my V file. This which I was showing people earlier, also um, has my name, my employee number, my phone number written on the inside. But it is this part. It's really a pen case, a pencil case by uh, Kipling. Again, not a fan of Kipling. It was on sale. But it fits my device like so. I've got a pen in there, a stack of post-it notes so I can write names down or flight time, things like that, or in an emergency, in an um, evacuation drill, I would be able to write down all the information I need to there. Uh, I also keep a pair of cuticle scissors in there for like the ice bag and stuff. So this is something I really need to have with me at all times. I keep it up in the front of my bag because I need to grab it anytime we're gonna be doing service um, on board. Speaking of service on board, my apron, which um, I have a love-hate affair with my apron, um, but I keep that up in front as well so I can just grab the items I need for my service right away. 
when I'm doing service, if I'm um, serving uh, beers or white wines, which we keep in our beer kit, uh, they're always very wet. And I typically go through a bunch of napkins during service, wiping down the beer can uh, and then stuffing those um, wet napkins in my apron pocket, which is part of what I hate about my apron. Uh, so instead, I started carrying this little microfiber um, cloth around with me. Um, it has our uniform colors on it and it um, absorbs all that water and I can kind of hang it out of my apron pocket and it looks really cute. So um, I carry that with me and use that for doing service as well. What else do I carry? Let's see. Oh, I'll, this is a little um, expandable binder um, folder thing, whatever they call it. And in here, I carry, oh, oh, this is one of the things I can't fit in here, but I'll use it eventually. So in here, I carry, um, we have certificates for someone's first flight. So it's a little, if, you know, a little kid or some adult has never flown before um, and they let us know, I'll have this little certificate and I can have our um, flight crew sign it. Whoever's flying lead will sign it and um, we present it to the person who's flying for their first time. And I just think it's cute and they love it. No matter what age they are, they love it. Um, so inside here, I carry birthday cards. <laughs> I know, I'm an old lady. I'm an old lady. I, this one doesn't fit in there, so I have to keep it separate. But look, it's a little 20, 21st birthday. It's got a little glitter that moves around. You know, we're based in Las Vegas, so if someone's frequently, people come to Las Vegas for their 21st birthday, I'm just waiting for a girl to celebrate their 21st birthday so I can give her this card. But I keep like a little mixtape. This is for a little kid, a guy with a robot, whatever. So I, I keep birthday cards in my tote because, um, you know, I chat with our guests and if I find out it's their birthday, um, I have um, the flight crew and all the flight attendants write a happy birthday message, or I ask them to. I've only had one flight attendant say, mm, all right. Usually people enjoy doing it. Um, and I'll give this to the person who's celebrating their birthday. And again, no matter how old they are, they typically go like, oh my God, that's amazing. So I love doing it. Um, this is a series of sheets of paper that has every contact number for my company in it. So if I'm on the go and need to talk to somebody important, um, I got that. These are um, extra MedLink forms. If you've watched my video about um, medicals, um, we in our flight attendant manual have a copy of that uh, MedLink form, which we would use for a medical emergency. But then the minute you take that form out, my fam is no longer compliant. And if I forget to get a replacement form and put it in my fam for my next trip, I'm flying with an incomplete flight attendant manual. And I don't know how much trouble I can get in, but I don't want to find out. So I keep extra copies here so I don't have to take it out of my flight attendant manual. Uh, I have credit card applications here. And uh, we have a promotion going on uh, where, um, I'm not sure about promotion, but on every aircraft we fly, uh, there's a sticker on one of the middle seat tray tables saying that you're a lucky seat in the lucky seat and that they get like 5,000 extra air miles. And so I keep extra certificates here because we're always out of them and a little script for our credit card promotion. I almost never use the script because I just free form it. Um, but that I keep in MedEd no matter where I'm going uh, because that can be um, a tremendous help. So I'm gonna slip that right here in the front with this, isn't that the cutest? I gotta meet some girl, or maybe, or maybe a gay guy. I don't know, I don't know many straight guys that want a, a pink 21. Actually, this is so big, let's put this in here. Pink. All right, so, birthday card. Alcohol towelette, don't need that. This is a little blank notebook, which I'm gonna start filling up with um, 
video ideas. So I'll put that right up in front. I carry a little, um, this is by Five Star, um, Mead Five Star. It's a pen pouch or a pen case that stands up. It also fits into my apron pocket really nicely. So if I'm doing credit cards up and down the aircraft, um, I can actually keep this unzipped and hand out pens and take them back from the customers or our guests and pop that right back in my my um, little pouch. Gloves. Now, um, some of our flight attendants won't do anything without a glove. I know one girl in our um, service training or extra customer service training, she said she wants to use gloves when she's using people's credit cards because she doesn't know where those credit cards have been. Okay, I almost never use gloves because, you know, I'm, I'm a, as I mentioned in my last video or the one before that, I'm a potter. Uh, I work with clay when I can. I'm up to here in like sludge. <laughs> I mean, I don't, I don't mind my hands getting dirty because I can just wash my hands. Um, but in case things get really grotesque, like body stuff, I have these little gloves, which I'm going to tuck in the very, very back pocket because I don't use them often and I don't think I'll need them very often. But on the other hand, hand sanitizer I use. This is um, Bath and Body Works. It is scented like the inside of a jelly bean and it smells just like a jelly bean. Um, I keep a spare watch, just a little Timex. Um, because my smartwatch that I wear every day, just in case I forgot to charge it or something, I don't want to ever be out of compliance. So I keep an extra watch on me. Chargers for the two different aspects of my um, device for work. I'm going to throw that in here. Altoids, because sometimes you just need them. Uh, and the, these little things, well, lip balm, which I always need. A bottle of ibuprofen for myself. We can't give uh, passengers or guests, we can't give them anything of our own. So even if someone has a massive headache, I can't give them anything here. We do have a first, a first aid kit that I'm allowed to get into. For, I don't think there's, uh, there might be acetaminophen or ibuprofen in there. Uh, but our, uh, one of our service bags that we have has some little non, um, non aspirin pain relievers that I believe I can give out to customers if they're in desperate need, but I'd never give them anything of my own. Uh, this is a bottle of caffeine, uh, back in the old days. I'm not sure if they make it anymore, but there's, there was something called no dos when I went to college. This is from a dollar store. It's, um, it's the same amount of caffeine as in a a large coffee and when you have a red-eye trip to Philly which I have coming up um, I have that just in case because I just don't want to get drowsy or even give the impression that I'm gonna sleep on on the plane pan cream uh, this is Bath and Body Works caramel apricot I'll use anything um, this was just on sale speaking of ba uh, Bath and Body Works this is um, Room spray uh, in fresh ball, ball, balsam, evergreen, um, because you just need a, a, a spray. I'm always in the front or the back, and uh, some people just, they just burn that laboratory out, I swear. So this is kind of handy. I used to have um, a spray that uh, was called cashmere. It was very earthy and very warm, which sounds very nice until you add earthy and warm to smells that are already kind of earthy. <laughs> so I stopped using that one. Um, this, let's put my laptop in here because um, uh, it's uh, Asus and it's been kind of beaten up here. Uh, but that will go. Aha on this side. Very nice. And the charger on this side. How nice this is all fitting so well. I'm so excited. 
All right, so this pocket's pretty cool. This is something that a guest gave me. Oh, it's getting a little full. <laughs> this is something a guest gave me coming back from New Orleans. I'm, I'm not going to keep it in my bag. I just had to show you. I had to show somebody. Um, I, I'm guessing I know why she gave it to me, but it's something she bought in New Orleans, and she and I clicked, and so she gave me this rainbow candy necklace with a rainbow, um, yeah, yeah. So I wonder why she thought of me. I don't know. I'm not going to keep it in my bag, but it was just too good not to share. Um, so I may not keep this in my bag, but when I don't have it this full of my laptop, I usually keep a, a box of blank cards and, or stationery um, in my bag. Uh, if you watched... Oh, God, I don't even know what video it was. But it was a video where I met this uh, this woman who had just lost her 19-year-old son to a, an overdose. And um, before, you know, before she left, I wrote her just a, a note uh, of sympathy and, um, and uh, a follow-up to a conversation we had. And I used um, no, those note cards to, um, to do that. This is my announcement book. Um, my airline does not require us to memorize anything. Thank goodness. Uh, so we are, these are our announcements. Um, our, I think I, I found these on our um, AFA, our uh, union website. And so it has all of the announcements I would make as A uh, and C in the order I would give them which is really handy when you're really tired or whatever. Um, I use them as a guide because I, I end up um, ad-libbing quite often. Uh, as long as I touch on every safety point, uh, then we're good. Oh, my passport. Something of a required item. So I'll put that back here. Very, very required. I'm put this in the pocket right there uh, a book right now i'm reading neil gaiman um a nancy boys i read this back when it first came out but i don't remember a thing about it so um i usually have a book on me and i think one of the last things i have oh, actually i have one more thing i might throw in here this these are um hang tags for the hotel room doors you know, every hotel room has those little do not disturb signs and um, they work. Sometimes I have had housekeeping walk into my room and I've told this on a different video. I don't know where I've had a housekeeper walk into my hotel room when I was naked. Yeah, I walked out of the bathroom to because I heard something in my room. I turned the corner oh nude and there was a housekeeper right there and um i yelled i yelled um so i use those the regular hotel ones but i also have look at these aren't these cute i love this one um those are that's probably the cutest ones that's cute i have another one where i wrote um don't even think of opening this door in black sharpie uh, so I like these little things. I got them at um, Ikea. They were like on sale for 49 cents. I bought, I bought a lot of them um, because I will use them and lose them. And I think, the, I think I'm going to throw this in my bag. If I have time during this layover, I'm going to do this mask. I'm not sure if you've um, done this. After this video, after you watch this complete video, right? Um, go on YouTube and look up Hell Pour Clean Up Mask. Um, look, see, there it is right there. It's, I think it's Korean. I don't know. I think it's Korean. Um, but there are a ton of people who have used this mask on, um, on YouTube. One girl, I think, lost part of her eyebrow. Okay, so she, she tore this off. I'm, I have really high hopes for this. So, if I have time on this layover, I'm gonna actually try this mask and I'll show you how it how it looks and what it does. I'm kind of excited. Um, oh, look, it fits. I'm so excited. I 
And you know what? My I think my no this I could fit this in there, but it's it would be like the camel the last straw on the camel's back. Oh last thing that does not take up a lot of room. These are dollar coins. These are those Sacogias. Um they're dollar coins. I typically have keep a stack of singles in my tote as well. And these are gonna go right in this little inside pocket. Um, I always wanna have singles. Uh, I'd probably try to keep around 10 bucks in singles, if not more, uh, in my bag. So I can tip the van driver when um, we go to an airport or go uh, to the hotel. So I wanna be able to tip the van driver. Uh, and tip the uh, waitress or the server or the people who are um, giving us breakfast or something in the morning. Uh, you know, in Atlanta, for example, we have this amazing spread. Amazing. And um, the young lady who works uh, there as a waitress, she's actually trying to become a flight attendant for us. Um, but I always want to have a few bucks on me so I can at least tip in the morning. Uh, people on... Um, some flight attendants get very upset. <laughs> One of you is getting mad right now. Um, some people get very upset when I or anybody makes a suggestion that you tip your van drivers or your servers at the hotels. Um, but those people work very hard. Imagine that poor van driver who has to pick up, um, you know, uh, 12 members of a crew and other um, passengers and get all their luggage, put it in the back of the van, keeping track of whose luggage is who and what stop they have to get off that. You know, tip them a buck or two. It really, they're working very hard for almost no money. So I'll get off my soapbox. But that is, let's see. So I told you the zippers on this were broke, right? So that is um, what I pack. <laughs> uh, this does close. I'm not gonna struggle with it right in front of you guys though. Um, so this is what I typically pack in my flight attendant tote when I'm going for a three or four day trip. Again, if I'm going on a two day trip or one day turn or something, I'll just take this little um, messenger bag. It's just big enough to hold my required items and my apron, you know, and a couple odds and ends. But um, there you go. This is my crew tote. It weighs a lot. Um, so thank God I have some muscles, right? Okay. So there you go. That's my video. Um, I would ask you to do a couple things. Write down in the comment section if there's anything that you put in your tote bag that I don't. If you're a girl, chances are it's a little mascara or a lipstick and some emergency cosmetics. Um, I do keep, you know, I really should keep like a toothbrush and stuff in here too, uh, just in case my luggage, you know, whatever. Uh, but I do, um, I will make a video about how I pack my rollerboard, my regular crew bag. And uh, at some point, I'll film a video about what I have in my toiletry kit, particularly for those guys that are out there um, wondering, you know, because um, I know this, you catch me when I film these videos, it's always like before or after I go to the gym. I'm never like at my cutest. <laughs> I can make this look kind of cute once in a while. Um, it's a lot of work. But there you go. I will um, talk to you guys later. Oh, I didn't finish with my uh, my favors. So, write down in the comment section below, write down if there's anything you put in your crew bag, um, or if you have any questions regarding what I have in my bag, um, feel free, drop a comment or a question. I would ask you to subscribe if you haven't already. And um, there you go, now I'll let you go. I'll let you go now. Have a good night and fly safe, bye.